Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Misharain sok nyelvet tartalmaznak. Kérjük tekintse meg itt suprememastertv.com per schedule. And those who are too sensitive to the ego, carrying the ego all over the places, will never go anywhere. It's a lot of work for the Master and for themselves in this lifetime. Hmm? Because if you don't progress, you also have problems in your life. And then you blame. The Master don't help you. You blame the situation, make you bad. You blame everybody else. Blame God even. <laughs> You don't look inside yourself, you don't clean yourself. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxi, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Salam ikhlas penonton-penonton yang diberkati. Nama saya Chloe dari Malaysia yang makmur. Rakyat kami yang ceria menghargai senyuman yang anda kongsi dengan dunia kita setiap hari. Malaysia memang sebuah negara indah yang dikunyai dengan pelbagai Bukit dan gunung yang ditumbuhi hutan tebal Laut Hijau Zamrud yang mempunyai bentangan pantai yang panjang dan dipiringi pokok palma, cahaya matahari, keemasan serta lagun air tawar. Tarikan utamanya ialah kontrasnya yang besar dari pencakar langit yang tinggi dapat dilihat rumah papan bertiang tinggi. Budaya Majmuk, keajaiban, alam semula jadi, bandar raya besar dan banyak pulau yang indah permai semuanya sebahagian daripada syurga di bumi ini. Kepelbagaian budaya juga telah menjadikan negara ini tempat meraihkan beratus-ratus perayaan yang beraneka ragam. Warisan multi budaya dan multi mangsa Malaysia sangat jelas dipamerkan melalui bentuk muzik dan tariannya yang pelbagai. Kami berbesar hati untuk berkongsi paparan singkat mengenai keindahan dan keajaiban Malaysia dengan anda, penonton-penonton yang baik hati. Rakyat kami mengucapkan semoga anda dikunyai kesihatan yang baik dan keceriaan. Selama lebih tiga dekad, Maha Guru Cheng Hai telah menerangi dunia kita dengan ajaran sucinya. Sebagai seorang guru memakrifat penuh, beliau mengajarkan kaedah meditasi Kuan Yin kepada mereka yang ingin 
dengan serta-merta menemui sifat Tuhan dalam diri mereka dan dalam masa satu hayat mendapat pembebasan abadi daripada kitaran lahir dan mati. Kaedah Kuan Ying telah diamalkan oleh semua guru bermaklifat seperti Orang Sanjungan Dunia Terpuja, Buddha Shakamuni, Anak Tuhan Terpuja, Nabi Isa, Guru dan Akli Falsafah Terhormat Confucius, Nabi Krishna Terhormat, Guru dan Ahli Falsafah Terhormat Lao Zhi, Nabi Mahavira Terhormat, Nabi Muhammad Moga-Moga Tuhan memberi kesejahteraan ke atasnya, Guru Seik Pertama, Sri Guru Nana Divji dan banyak lagi. Beliau menekankan bahawa jika kita sentiasa ingat akan Tuhan, berbakti kepada orang lain dan mematuhi hukum alam semesta, kita akan mencapai potensi tertinggi sebagai manusia yang benar-benar memahami tujuan kita di bumi. Maha Guru Cheng Hai ialah suri teladan belas kasihan sering memberikan bantuan kebendaan dan kewangan serta kasih sayang kepada pelarian orang tak berumah, mangsa bencana alam dan orang lain yang memerlukan bantuan. Maha Guru Cheng Hai amat bersyukur kepada Tuhan yang dikasihi atas segala bantuan, kewangan, keselesaan dan sokongan kepada orang yang menderita dan susah dan atau sebarang tujuan baik selama ini sebagai wadah kepada belas kasihan dan kasih sayangnya terhadap anak-anaknya yang berharga. Maha Guru Cheng Hai dengan rasa hormat berterima kasih kepada semua individu, pertubuhan, pemimpin dan kerajaan istimewa atas segala sokongan anda yang ikhlas, penyayang, berterusan. Semoga Tuhan merahmati anda selama-lamanya. Kami, ahli-ahli Persatuan Maha Guru Ching Hai, antarabangsa, juga secara ikhlas berterima kasih atas kemurahan ekspresif anda. Semoga anda selamat berjaya. Maha Guru Ching Hai menerima kasih sayang dan pengakuan daripada pelbagai pertubuhan, media, kerajaan dan individu serta banyak anugerah daripada mereka seperti Hadiah Keamanan Busi 2006 yang dianggap sebagai Hadiah Keamanan Novel Timur. Anugerah Kepimpinan Spiritual Dunia pada tahun 1994, Anugerah Mahathir pada tahun 2008, 22 hari bulan Februari dan 25 hari bulan Oktober diistiharkan sebagai Hari Mahaguru Ching Hai, Warga Negara Kehormat. Amerika Syarikat dan sebagainya yang telah diberi penghormatan dalam tahun-tahun ini dengan banyak anugerah dan sanjungan lain atas kerja amal dan bantuan kemanusiaannya yang menonjol.
Kami meminta maaf kerana tidak dapat memaparkan banyak anugerah dan sanjungan lain disebabkan kekurangan ruang dan masa. Mahaguru Cheng Hai dengan rasa hormat berterima kasih kepada semua individu, pertubuhan, pemimpin dan kerajaan istimewa atas segala sokongan anda yang ikhlas, penyayang, berterusan. Semoga Tuhan merahmati anda selama-lamanya. Kami, ahli-ahli Persatuan Mahaguru Ching Hai, antarabangsa, juga secara ikhlas berterima kasih atas kemurahan ekspresif anda. Semoga anda selamat berjaya. Sebagai suara sejati kepada rakan haiwan kita yang menawan, Mahaguru Ching Hai mempromosikan daya berasalkan tumbuhan yang damai dan penyayang. Beliau menghasratkan dengan kesedaran manusia tentang kesucian semua hidupan, sebuah dunia vegan yang tenteram dan gemilang di mana haiwan dan orang hidup secara harmoni. Inisiatifnya untuk menyebarkan trend vegan adalah pelbagai, termasuk pengendaran pistola, hidup alternatif, restoran vegan antarabangsa, loving heart, syarikat produk makanan vegan, produk bulu vegan, supreme master television, serta sering bercakap dengan ketua kerajaan dan media yang berpengaruh menyertai sidang video mengenai perubahan iklim dan sebagainya. Sama ada kita sedar akannya atau tidak, usahanya telah memberikan pengaruh yang besar kepada kesedaran global tentang gaya hidup mesra, haiwan dan bagaimana cara berbelas kasihan ini boleh membawa keamanan yang berpanjangan dalam kalangan negara sementara menyelamatkan planet kita daripada perubahan iklim dan bencana. Dalam tahun-tahun ini, Mahaguru Cheng Hai telah pergi ke seluruh dunia dari negara-negara Amerika ke Afrika, dari Eropa ke Oceania dan memberikan beratus-ratus khutbah kepada orang ramai dan anak muridnya tentang pelbagai topik spiritual. Hari ini, kami berbesar hati untuk mempersembahkan salah satu daripada khutbah penuh persepsi ini bertajuk Kitab Suranggama 25 Kaedah Mendapat Makrifat Sasi 3 Bahagian 1 daripada 6 dalam rancangan Antara Guru dan Anak Murid diberikan dalam bahasa Inggeris pada 6 hari bulan April 2019 di Taiwan juga dikenali sebagai Formosa. Some new people today? No? Oh, you just changed the role, right? Ah, good, good. <laughs> How are you? Annyeonghaseyo. Ni hao. We get. <laughs> really nice to see you sometimes. Yeah. Because you are the addicted. Yeah. <laughs> addicted to master, right? <laughs> Yeah, always coming, no matter when. Yeah, and the food okay today, huh? Yes. I give a message. I say cook a little bit more variety, and today is <laughs> a lot of variety. Will you enjoy? Yes. I say you don't come that often. Yeah, make a little bit more choice in case you don't like that. You can have that. You know, treat you like a king. You know, the king they have a lot of food. That 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 that. that. Yeah. But you are better than the king. Nobody ate before you. <laughs> the king have to have somebody to taste it in case it's poison. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's not logical that the king want to kill somebody just for himself. <laughs> in case it's poisonous, then that person die. Yeah, 
But actually, I think this is just a kind of prevention, huh? because if people already know that there is somebody tasting before the king, so they wouldn't put poison in it. So that is just helpful in that way. <laughs> this don't do any much in my clothes. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, when the food is good, even though you are not hungry, you know, not that hungry, it still you still can eat. But if the food is not good, even you are hungry, it doesn't <laughs> help you to enjoy. But you enjoy the food, yeah? Yes. Uh, no kimchi, but okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah, today I feel good. Today, I can eat the chicken soup. 平常我吃不下，平常吃不下。I have to wait a long time until I eat a little bit. Yes, normally they bring breakfast. Huh? They bring me one time a day at breakfast, breakfast time. But I could never, I could never enjoy so early in the morning. You know. But today it tastes good. I did not mean to go out and eat. I just go out and bring my basket of food inside, and then I see, oh. Something new. <laughs> Try a little bit. Tastes good. Not too bad. Normally, I don't eat so much in the morning. Yeah, maybe the kanji is easier to swallow, but still don't taste good if they don't have something accompany. Not not good accompaniment. Then I just use some bean curd tofu, huh, or some pickle stuff and hot. You know, sometimes when I cannot eat, then I use a Korean instant noodle. Hot, <laughs> very appetizing. <laughs> If I cannot eat anything else, you know, just to calm the stomach, to dilute the uh, the sour acid inside, yeah, and then continue living. <laughs> you still blending, yeah? From time to time only. You cheat now. <sighs> I introduce you as a blender. <laughs> Okay, we tend to miss what we used to have since a child. It's difficult to quit. Yeah, you do quit slowly. Yeah, if you want to eat raw food but you cannot, then eat the raw first, before your favorite. Then at least you have like seventy, eighty percent raw, and then the rest you enjoy. <laughs> but after you fall, you know, with fruit and raw, then the other food don't taste. As seductive, <laughs> and then you already almost full, so you don't eat a lot of that cooked food anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. up to you, whatever. You eat raw, huh? We had a fruit fruitarian section as well. The fruitarian, any fruitarian rice hen? For how long? <laughs> I tried before, but it didn't last. <laughs> it didn't last long. Whatever we still need to eat something. Yeah, Buddha says so somewhere in here. I caught it, but I forgot where it is. Maybe one day I find it. Yes, the Buddha said even bichu, you know, need to eat to stay alive, because we need to create a little bit affinity, yeah, in order to survive. But don't create such a big troublesome affinity. That's all. Okay, just be simple, middle way. <laughs> That was a very big lecture, wasn't it? <laughs> very philosophical and deep, profound, all the way down here. <laughs> okay, now we're talking about the Buddha. Hmm? We should really thank the past masters, monks, and nuns, and scholars who have taken time to record. The Buddha's teaching after the Master's Nirvana, and also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health, or under any difficult situation, to translate this, so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them, and may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas. Past, present, and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you.
according to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten direction, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth, and I just make it more popular. Yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. Yesterday we was already on the tenth method of meditation. Today we continue eleven. Sariputra, one of Buddha's ten uh, foremost disciples. Hmm? Sariputra now arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, From distant cow paths until the present, my mind and views have been pure. Wow, imagine. All of them remember Kaupa's past, not just like last few lifetime or Ching Long's time, you know, <laughs> but many, many Ian past, you know, countless of years or time, yeah? Many worlds comes and goes, they still remember. In this way, I have undergone as many births as there are grains of sand in the Ganges. Again, right, incredible. As to the various transformations and changes of both the mundane and the transcendental, I am able to understand them at one glance and obtain non-obstruction. Oh. You see, they all been practicing long, long, long time. Sariputra continues. Once I met the Kashyapas on the road, and I walked along with the brothers. Uh, they spoke about causes and conditions, and I awakened to the boundlessness of my mind. I followed the Buddha and left the home life. My seeing awareness became bright and perfect. I obtained fearlessness and became an Ahat. As one of the Buddha's elder disciples, I am born from the Buddha's mouth, transformationally born from the Dharma. It's just a way of speaking, okay? Meaning the Buddha preached the Dharma, yeah, and then because he listened to all that, he became awakened. But what a way of expressing things, huh? The Buddha's mouth is not for you to jump out from there. I don't think it's very respectful. <laughs> I mean, but probably at that time it is respectful, meaning all pure and all from the Dharma, from the teaching, that's all, okay? But the way they explain things, sometimes I'm not really pleased or not quite understand, like they describe the Buddha, like his eyes, like the eyes of the cows, his legs is like the lion's, and his uh, f form uh, something else. You know, all the animals' attributes that describe the Buddha's, you know, like very significant <laughs> attributes of his physical greatness. But when you put them all together, you don't know what kind of animals is that even. <laughs> I read it too long already, and I didn't like it, so I don't want to remember. Because they say the Buddha leg looked like a deer and his mouth like a lion. Or so. I mean, whatever the animals you can think of, they put the part and piece together to describe the Buddha. I know it is just symbolic, okay? Like to tell people that he's so strong, magnificent, like a lion, like elephants and and this and that and others, you know, but all the animals, piece and part, you know, like spare parts, and put them together. How can you imagine the Buddha look like what? Yeah, and I did not like it. 
So I was saying long time ago when I was first out talking to the Taiwanese audience in my lecture, I say, whoever described the Buddha like that, there must be Buddha's enemy. <laughs> Make him look bad. <laughs> yeah. Because before we didn't have camera and painting, and not everybody has a talent to paint the Buddha to bring it back to their hometown to show it to people. Mm -hmm. Just like you came from all over the world nowadays. Not all of you can paint me. If we didn't have camera or video camera, you would not be able to paint my picture. Not all of you have the talent. Oh, please don't, because if you don't have talent, please don't do it. <laughs> Probably my nose, it go to my ears, and my mouth go to my chest. Who knows what your talent bring? <laughs> uh, so it's similar in the old time. Somebody try very hard to describe the Buddha's image to somebody who has no chance to come to see the world on a one physically, personally. So they try very hard and they exaggerate it. You know, the way the Indian people do. Yeah. <laughs> They just love him too much, yeah. So they just try to use the best whatever, the most significant animals to, to describe him. But then when you put them all together, you cannot picture what a Buddha looked like. This is like very weird animals, indeed. Yeah, maybe i find it, and then I will tell you all the, the spare part that they make up of the Buddha, my goodness. <laughs> and then it's even written down. Yeah, for the later generation to, to imagine. <laughs> Thank God nowadays we have camera. But even then, some cameramen are kind and gentle. They make me look beautiful. And some, uh, I don't know, they just tried the button yesterday, just like me with my iPhone, don't know much. And then they still make my photo or my video. <laughs> and I can't recognize myself. I say, do I look that ugly? <laughs> So if the newcomer comes, they don't know where to find the master, you know? <laughs> because <laughs> one photo looks so beautiful and young, and the other photo looks so ugly and old and, you know, so distorted. Yeah. I make a joke before, remember? Somebody come and ask me, where is that beautiful master Ching Hai? You know, ask me myself. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Or somebody else come and say, where is... The Supreme Master Ching Hai said, it's me. And they said, no, she looked uglier. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, continue, Sariputra. The Buddha asked about perfect penetration, as I have been certified to it, for the mind and the seeing to emit light and for the light to reach throughout knowing and seeing is the foremost method. So, I think he meditate on the light only. Yeah. See, nobody has a uh, cunning method yet. Not yet. The Buddha just preach. Yeah. And they just meditate whatever they have been meditating before. Or the Buddha just told them, okay, you concentrate on this and that, uh, uh, breathing or whatever. Yeah. The Buddha did not. Teach them running method yet. Wow. And you guys lucky. Jump in on board right away. No tickets needed. Hey, yeah, no building houses, no Milareva test, nothing. You have the most generous master. Some are like that. Cannot even withstand one test. Test because they have problem, not because I wanted to test them. They have problem and I check them and I don't like. <laughs> this, uh, this kind is, can never go anywhere, can never progress. Maybe the maximum is just a, a third level. Most people uh, maximum practice a lot, ascetic exam and everything, third level max, okay? And those who are too sensitive to their ego, carrying the ego all over the places, will never go anywhere. Just a lot of work for the Master and for themselves in this lifetime. Hmm? Because if you don't progress, you also have problems in your life. And then you blame. The Master don't help you. You blame the situation, make you bad. You blame everybody else. Blame God even. <laughs> you don't look inside yourself, you don't clean yourself. 
That is a problem. If you want to learn English with the best teacher in town, you also need your homework, no? You go home, you have to do whatever the master teach you and practice it. And continue practicing daily. Huh? You cannot do nothing and then say, what? Yeah, actually I wanted to have a joke like, Somebody came to uh, the best English teacher, yeah? And what happened? He learned nothing. Some many months later, the, the master made a test, everybody passed except that person. And the teacher said, why you don't pass? Like everybody else passed, why don't you pass? Huh? I could not speak anything. I could not write anything in English. The teacher said, why couldn't you write and read and speak? The person said, if I could, then I wouldn't have come here to study with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, hula, hula, hop. <laughs> yeah, speaking English now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I could speak, <laughs> read and write, then I wouldn't have come to you. <laughs> this is a problem. It sounds funny to you. And illogical, right? But this is what people do. That's what they're thinking, and that's how they behave. Even among some of so-called disciples, my so-called disciples here, they have legs, but they don't want to walk. Yeah? And then the master needs to carry them all the time. You shouldn't do that. Then your legs are kaput. Yeah? One time I was in the hospital. There were, next to me there was one old lady. Huh? She's Italian and they don't let her walk out or anything. And because I could not move, and at that time I could not move, and it hurts everywhere when I move, so they think I also have a nerves <laughs> problem. <laughs> they put me together in the same ward while testing, yeah? Anyway, every day she called my name, she made me do this, do that. I help her in any way because I thought she's handicapped. <laughs> she couldn't climb out, couldn't do anything, yeah. Because, I don't know, I'm so nice to people, so she asked me to do this, do that for her. And can she use my tower? Can she use my uh, bathrobe, etc., etc.? Let's give it all to her, doesn't matter, whatever, yeah. Otherwise, she keep talking forever. <laughs> but it's not as funny as it sounds now. You see, if she go down and clean her teeth, she never close the tap. If she cleaned her teeth, for example, they help her to go down and then she clean teeth and then they, they put her in a bed, you know, she, she never close the tap. <laughs> I have to go and close it, for example. So I said to her, you must close the tap, you know, she speaks some French and I speak uh, half Italian. <laughs> half of the sentence. <laughs> we understood each other okay, especially I understood her. <laughs> I don't need language to understand her. She just demand all kind of things. I want to talk to you, even though if you don't understand, she just keep talking, calling your name until you have to get up. Either talk to her or go out of the room. So this lady, she's laying in bed all day, eating, you know, or talking to herself or, or to my ears, anything. And now and then ring the bell, just so the bother the nurses, they all hated her. <laughs> they don't want to have anything to do with her. Some sort she ring all the time, they don't come, you know? And then I have to do whatever she wants, uh, etc. And then I thought she's handicapped, she could not walk, yeah? So I help her a lot in my situation, whatever I can. Now, this lady, she's really something. <laughs> she can speak French, Italian, perfect, you know? And sometimes, because she can express very accurately, I was surprised, yeah. And sometimes I cannot bend down to pick up things, and if I drop something, I use my toe, you know? I use my toe to pick up from the floor. And she looks at she says, oh, phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, imagine she can express like that. I don't know what's wrong. I had no idea in this, so I keep helping her, and then she has a lot of friends and family coming all the time. And they just stand in towering over her and talk, 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 and then leave. And one day, her son came in. Her son was a doctor even, yeah? So he speaks French very well. I was thinking, I should talk to him, you know, one, one day. 
maybe he worked far away, so he didn't come every day. Only that day he came. I said to him, you know, you have many uh, friends, relatives coming here to see your mother, but she's in this bed all the time. Uh, you, you better tell them to, every time they come, just uh, help her on both sides of her arms and make her walk around the hospital. Otherwise, it's continue like this, her legs will lose the ability, yeah, the muscle to walk. So from then on, they do that. Oh, thank God, I was so happy whenever they come because <laughs> they take her out, you know, and I don't have to listen to her radio all day long. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but that's good for her also. I wasn't thinking of me. I was thinking of her, you know? Because when I saw the nurses take her out of bed so that they can clean the bed and change the bed, I saw she can, she can walk with them. So I told him that. And from then on, they, they come in and not just blah, 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 but take her out for a walk in the corridor and all that. She could walk even. She don't even need that. She just loved it. One day I tested her, she just ran to me. Yeah. <laughs> if you give her some favorite stuff, oh, she come to you. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. So from then on, they keep doing that. Some people, they're not handicapped, just don't want to do things. You must do it, okay? It's your duty to yourselves and to your five generations, as well as to the world. Be a hero, okay? Be a hero. Rely on yourself and help others, hmm? not just rely on master all the time. Like if you're a baby, then your mother feed you milk yeah, and uh, uh, liquid food. But when you're growing up, you chew, man, you chew, okay? <laughs> and you learn to walk, learn to talk, and then you can learn to be of use in the society. That's what we should do, okay? Mm. That's why we have to keep our dignity, yeah? do our job. Whatever job, we do it perfect, as perfect as we can, and the spiritual practice we do as best as we can. Yeah? Don't make any excuse to slow down yourself and make trouble for yourself and for other people. Mm? you are grown up, no? Grown up. Even children, they practice well. Penonton yang penyayang, terima kasih kerana bersama kami untuk episod hari ini yang berjodoh, Kitab Surang Gama, 25 Kaedah Mendapat Makrifat, sesi 3, bahagian 1 daripada 6, dalam rancangan antara guru dan anak murid. Seterusnya ialah hidup roh selepas meninggal dunia. Ingatan, pilihan daripada dialog Plato, Fido bahagian satu daripada dua dalam rancangan kata-kata bijak sejurus selepas berita wajah diberi perhatian. Teluslah bersama Supreme Master Television untuk lebih banyak rancangan positif. Semoga hidup anda penuh dengan kemurahan, belas kasihan dan kasih sayang. Loving viewers, thank you for joining us on today's program entitled The Surangama Sutra, 25 Means to Enlightenment, Session 3, Part 1 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is The Soul's Life After Death, Re-Collection, Selection from Plato's Dialogue Feeder, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May your life be filled with benevolence, compassion and joyous love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.